Well, this is a look. How do I look with short hair, guys? <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Malaysia Day 2. So I just woke up, if you can't already tell by the state of my hair, I don't know what I'm going for here. We're gonna go downstairs for a breakfast buffet and then we're gonna get ready because we're going to train, what's it called? Perdana Botanical Gardens and then after that we're gonna go to Surya where the Petronas Towers are. So we're gonna have lunch there and then walk around there as well. I'm really excited to go to these gardens because Trina sent us pictures and they look beautiful. Plus we always make it a point to at least go to like one touristy thing here in Malaysia because we feel so at home. Sometimes we kind of just don't plan anything and then we just go. So this is gonna be something new for us at least. <laughs> selection of food. I've got a Danish, some sausages, vegetables, hash browns, and then this is what I came here for, Malaysian coffee. So it's their local coffee which is super, super strong. And then you just pour some condensed milk inside and ooh, I mean look at that. That looks so good. Cheers! I also got some beans on toast with poached eggs, my favorite to go with my almost finished breakfast. And here's my last plate. I know all of you are gonna be like, you're supposed to eat your fruit before everything else. Well, I don't do that. YOLO, you know? Life's too short to eat things in the right order. <laughs> so I've got here a plain yogurt with some sunflower seeds and strawberry preserves, dragon fruit, which is one of my favorite fruits of all time, yellow watermelon, and some melon. And I think I'm gonna get one more Malaysian coffee because I'm all out. How are we doing in the food front? Are you ready for mom cam later? No. <laughs> yes, mom cam later. <laughs> We're all ready to go. We're gonna head off to those botanical gardens. We're gonna take a grab because it's about 18 ringgit to get there. And then, yeah, we're gonna explore. So I hope you guys are ready. Here is Malaysia Day. made it to the Perdana Botanical Gardens and we asked the guard what route we could take. We actually didn't understand what he was saying so we're just gonna wing it. And it's like this public park. There are like a lot of different activities that you can do. Some people just walk it. There are like horses. There's a huge playground for the kids. There's apparently like a fish pond so there's lots to do. You've applied the pressure to help me crystallize And you've got the faith We were just talking about how nice it is that there are public parks like this that are so well maintained and that a lot of people can just frequent and I wish that there were more parks like this in the Philippines That way people could just really enjoy, you know? More people would jog, they could walk their dogs, play with their kids Oh, di ba guys? Nasa Malaysia tayo pero parang juma Jurassic Park lang, you know? It's so beautiful here. This looks like so much fun. Even adults. <laughs> I know. I want to go on the seesaw. Mom cam. <laughs> and here are Katrina and Carla reenacting their childhood. <laughs> okay. Yep. Carla thinks she's in a rodeo. She's bullying me! Make a really high trend. No. Like super high trend. Not, oh my gosh. I almost fell. Not gonna lie, that's probably as much physical activity as Trina as I get up to in a day. Ow, I pulled my hair! Never mind, you have a lot of it anyway. Wow, thanks. That castle looks freaking amazing. What? Imagine if we had this back home. I wanna go on the swing! And here's Carla trying to reenact her childhood again. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> You're really weird. Higher, Carl, it's higher. Okay, I'm getting dizzy. Higher. You know when you realize you're kind of too old for certain activities? Yeah. Here is the sunken garden. Ay, ate, jump shot tayo. Sige, go ate, push. I'm forgiven, forget. I can't even tell 
style if I'm in focus. We just took really, really nice photos by the fountain here in the sunken garden. So now we're just walking around the park some more. They have these plant tunnels where you can sort of escape from the sun for a little bit. Guys, check out this lighting. It's so clean and so, so pretty. Trina's right, one of the most amazing things about this park is that it's right smack in the middle of the city. So like you've got all these buildings and just all these cars and traffic and all this busyness like all around it. But then they've got this amazing park right in the middle. It's so, so wonderful that there's a little pocket of heaven in the middle of this entire city. Insane, look at that. Wow. And I've done things in small doses So don't think that I'm pushing you away Making our way towards that gorgeous white bridge over there. There's so many little pocket lakes. What the heck? Oh, mom, there are fish. Oh, the bridge is closed. Can we all agree that it's huge and it's filled with so many amazing structures? Look at that. Check that out, fam. That's beautiful. Yeah, Look at how beautiful those are. See the city? It's surrounding the entire park. Oh my gosh, wow. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a family of ducks. Mom and Trina insisted that I include them for the vlog. There they are, having a nice little weekend. So cute. I look like I've melted, but anyway, if you guys are planning to go to Malaysia and you don't want to just hang out around in malls, check out this botanical garden because you can have a picnic. Like mom said, you can buy like a couple of snacks. You can jog, you can cycle, you can hang out with friends, you can take a bunch of Instagram photos, different areas that have different kinds of plants and landscapes, and it's just the perfect place to go. We're on the tram. <laughs> so now we're gonna take a quick little tour of the whole thing. It's like 10 ringgit per person, and we can just go around the entire park, which is great for us. So that's what we're gonna do. so she can book us a grab because we're gonna go now to the Patronus Towers. I feel really sticky and gross. How are you feeling, mom? You always look fresh though. Just made it to Surya KLCC. So this is the shopping mall and then right beside it are the Patronus Towers. We've been here so many times and we've seen the Patronus a billion times, but every single time I'm still always left in awe. The infrastructure, how it's built, it's just so spectacular. And I love the whole combination of steel and glass. It looks so good. We're gonna go find drinks because that botanical garden bonanza, yeah, it was really hot. And I'm so sure that we're dehydrated. Slow I'm taking steps in my direction. The song sounds echo. There's a lesson, your affection. No one. Trina and I are craving for milk tea. I think mom wants like a what do you call them? Like an iced tea. There's no milk tea in the food court, which makes us very sad, but it's okay because there's old town coffee. The best coffee in Malaysia. We've got our Old Town iced coffees and now we're gonna explore. So I'm in Machines and they had stock of the air pods. And this kind man helped me. What's your name? Shu Im. Shu Im? Yeah. Shu Im helped me out. He subscribed to my channel. Thank you. You better watch for this video, okay? It's coming out next week, so he'll see himself for day two. But yay, I have the air pods here, yeah. so yay, thank God. Thank you, you, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, thank God. Finally. Oh. I'm done. Nico, you have your Christmas gift. Mom, Jim, they had it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a wild moraless at one of the most stylish stores in the world. Back in stocks. <laughs> there's also a Sephora here. There's Vans, which we have to go to. Joe Malone. There's a Zara. I want to go to Dior because I really want that lip balm. Oh, look at me, so bougie. Mom is getting new shoes. Supergas. <laughs> Trina with her new shoes. Gorge. Hey! 
<laughs> Sneaker shopping was a success for Trina and her mom. It is currently 2.20 in the afternoon and we still haven't had lunch. I'm going to faint. I have the biggest headache because I haven't eaten. I just haven't been saying anything to them. Nobody judge me, but we're in Malaysia and we're having lunch in one of my favorite restaurants, Din Tai Fung. We're just waiting for a table. I love Din Tai Fung. No pork. They don't have crispy beans. Trina got these chicken and crab shaolong baos. And look at how cute! There's a little crab! Since there's no pork, mom and I got these shrimp and chicken spicy wontons. We're going for a light lunch today because later on we're going to eat in our favorite Thai place, Absolute Thai. So much for eating light. We've also got some crispy chicken and shrimp wonton. And then our string beans arrived. It's enough to feed a small village. So much for eating light, mom. <laughs> We just finished lunch and it was good, right mom? Yep. We overordered as usual and now we're in Joe Malone and look who's here! Hi. It's Benny! Hello. We've been going to Benny for years. <laughs> Every time we're in Malaysia and we go to Joe Malone, it's always Benny! So if you guys are going to Surya and you're gonna pass by Joe Malone, look for Benny. Mom and Trina are currently shopping. <laughs> Hi Mickey, nice Hello. to meet you. Nice to They're gonna buy their perfumes. Benny is testing the body cream on me. It absorbs right away. Instantly absorbs. And after you apply the cream, uh -huh. if you spray fragrance on top, it can enhance the scent more and make it more lasting. Hi everyone, <laughs> please come to Raquel's CC. Look for me, Benny. Yes, and Benny, you'll see this next week. See you guys. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, Benny. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Trina got her. Body cream. Bye, Benny. <laughs> like I promised, those are the Petronas Towers. Sorry, I couldn't get a better angle. Kind of hard when you're tiny and the place is gigantic. We really better look at our packages. Oh, <laughs> our packages, girls, our packages. <laughs> I'm still debating if I want the AirPods because technically, uh, mom, I don't need them. That's what you always say, and then afterwards, when you don't get it, then you're gonna regret it, and we won't hear the end of it. I should have got it. That was the only place it was available, but I didn't get it, and now I can't buy it. Giant Christmas tree of Surya. We're at one of our favorite Thai restaurants here in Malaysia. It's called Absolute Thai here in Wanutama, and they've got such good Thai food. If you guys remember from the previous Malaysia vlogs, we had Tom Yam and it was so spicy. We were gonna die, they had to add water, so we've learned our lesson. When we order our tom yum, we're gonna say no spice. We're gonna get pad thai, we'll probably get some starters and maybe a curry, and then I think we'll all get some drinks. It's 8 30, but YOLO! We ordered everything basically. She was recommending that we try this creamy soup thing, but we were like, no, we'll stick with the tom yum. So she literally put less, less, less in the order slip. Let's see how less, less, less this is. Got myself a cheeky little beer. Mom's got a coke. Trina's got the Thai iced tea. This is stir fried kang kong with bela chan. I think that's how you pronounce it. Bela chan. It's this Malaysian sauce. Red chicken curry. Pad thai. So according to Randy, our Filipino waiter, that's still gonna be spicy. Oh yeah, no. Filipino. Let's hope for the best. Soup verdict, guys. It's in. It's spicy, but survivable. Kaya natin. We have to say it's not Imperno levels, guys. Twelve seconds later. Guess what, YouTube fam? <laughs> Di pala kaya. <laughs> My green. Magaan taasid na po kami mamaya. This year's Tom Yum <laughs> was a very subtle and slow death. Ano, kaya pa? Sarap, di ba? Sarap. Rosy cheeks na tayo. <laughs> Spice for more guys. It's reached that point where 
We're not sure if the food is hot or <laughs> it's just spicy. Ang love lang yan. Masarap pero masakit. If I could be any prettier, <laughs> this is my best look. I'm gonna make this happen. Take a shower but make it fashion. Thanks to Vlogmas, I'm really comfortable like just being my true self with y'all. So I'm gonna keep this look. I'm in bed now. I took a shower and I'm all nice and clean and very relaxed. And I'm so, so tired. I was gonna do this Bure chin, nose, forehead strip thing. But honestly, I can't be bothered. I'm too tired. Today was such a tiring day. I know all you guys saw was us like shopping, but we walked a lot today. According to my Apple Health, we walked over 11,000 steps. I know that's probably like normal for a lot of people, but not for us. Tomorrow is our third day in Kuala Lumpur and it's our last full day. We go home Monday at noon, so technically we only have tomorrow to really walk around and explore a little bit more. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed day two of Malaysia. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment down below of the spiciest dish you've ever had. I would love to know. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow for Malaysia Day 3. Bye!